Hey everyone, how you doing this week? Look who's right here with me. Ranger's sitting right by my side already. He usually hangs out over there a little bit. But any, oh, and he's, he's feeling so much better, you guys. I really do, I have a lot of stuff to go through, but um, he did get started on the, oh, what's it start? Uh, on the meds and they're helping. So I'm psyched about that, but he's, he's pretty rambunctious either tired or rambunctious so anyways <laughs> he's bringing me his ball we can't do that right now buddy i'm doing a video so this is um thrifted tuesday my name's claire um i am the owner and creator behind cl vintage finds and this is the little video where we go through all the items that i've thrifted over this past week and with that being said, I'm gonna just get started because I have a lot of items to go through. A couple of these things I've already showed you, but I'm gonna show them again in video form. This is a little copper tea kettle. Um, I think the handles are brass and the top is wood. Super cute and great shape. And um, this came from an estate sale. I had really good luck at estate sales this week. Um, these also came from an estate sale. These are a set of five brass candlesticks. I will get these all cleaned up and they will be beautiful and look brand new. Um, if you're looking for pricing or any of that, you're gonna have to send me a message because these items may or may not make it up to my booth this week. So, um, and right now I can't think of anything that definitely will make it up to my booth. My booth was pretty full last week and I, and I don't want it to get to the point where it's over full. Next up is this fern. I think the fern is beautiful, but chances are I'm gonna pull the fern out and just use this, which feels like it it, it might be resin, but it, it feels more ceramic-y, I don't know. But anyways, it's really pretty and I think it'll be beautiful with one of my bottle brush trees in it coming up for the holiday season. And then I'll always reuse the, um, ferns and some some other project down the road so that's that next up I wasn't a super fan of this but sometimes you got to think outside of the box um it is a three-tiered tray but the thing is these vintage three-tiered trays even if I don't necessarily love the plates I mean this, that's a lot of gold for me and I love gold trust me I love gold but it's a lot of shiny spackled gold and I just don't love it but um, you can't get these really, I can't anyway, I can't find a place to get these really high quality tiered trays um, hardware. So I'll repurpose that on another tiered tray and you know, I'll have the dishes. Um, I just can't imagine for sure that they'll sell. Um, next up, uh, I thought this was adorable. It's just some little ducks on um, brass ducks on a stand. I may remove this stand because they do look like they unscrew. I think I'll like the ducks better individually. Just I may even use them just for staging and, and keep them myself. I don't know. Super cute um, little ducks. Sorry if I'm going fast. I know I have a lot of items. Here's a brass trivet. Trivets, um, I haven't, I, I have, other local people have told me trivets do really well for them, vintage trivets. So I grabbed this brass one because brass and copper seems to do well for me. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if this sells. Maybe this is something I'll bring up to the booth this week just to see if it sells. Next up, I've got some really good holiday um, things planned. And I, these old red books are gonna be beautiful, you know, for the season. I think I'm gonna do individual books and decorate them up and then um you know instead of you know a lot of times i do sets of three but i think i some individual ones just to set around for a little touches of christmas decor or tucked in a little vignette or something like that so i just think they'll be pretty we'll see if they sell this thing is huge i like these next to a hearth um you know with firewood in them or even some cut birch wood, something like that. You know, I just think they're so pretty with a holiday decor. So I grabbed it. We'll see if anybody's interested. Definitely send me a message. Don't know that I have a room in my booth for that right now for sure. So that probably is gonna have to wait till another time. 
Okay, I got a lot of, well, not a lot. I got a few of these. This is another um, Oloconte, which means it's controlled bubbles blown into, um, blown into the hand-blown pair. It's got some brass, a brass leaf detail. Super cute. Again, really pretty. Paperweight. So um, I like those art glass pieces, and so I grab them when I see them. I found a few. I think the rest of these are animals. Yeah. Bird, also Bilicante. So I don't know if you can see. Um, so, and I, there's two of these birds, so I, I think. And um, I thought they were pretty. And, um, you know, glass looks really pretty in my booth with the way that I have my lighting. Range, come on up here and sit down next to me, buddy. This is another one of the, the birds, same bird, just so you can see. I grab a couple of those. Uh, my friend makes fun of me. Jamie, if you're watching, um, feel free to put a comment making fun of me about my comments on birds. Um, and this is a bunny, a Bulacanti little bunny. So, super cute. Alrighty. There's lots more, guys. And I've already started thrifting for next week. I was out this morning after my doctor's appointment. So it's going to be a, you know, I'm really trying to, I feel like at this point I already have too much inventory, but I know it's slim pickings over the winter, so I need to grab things while the grabbing is good. Okay, was not a super huge fan of the fruit, although I think pulled out, cleaned up, the fruit might look good somewhere, but I love the basket. This is exactly the type of basket that sells well for me. Um, handle goes up and down on hinges. Um, and then, you know, you can see the oh, losing pieces of fruit. I don't even know where that one went. Ranger, whatever you do, don't grab it. Um, but anyways, that's that. That probably will get taken apart and everything gets repurposed. So, um, it's a rare day for me to throw something out. Uh, okay. Just some wooden candlesticks, hand turned. I always grab them. They look good made over and in various projects. Got yeah, just a, a little bit more, um, you know, holiday. Well, it doesn't have to be. How about winter berries? Hey, Ranger, get up here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, See, even looks cute in some milk glass. And I got a set of three. Well, they're not really a set, but they will be. They, well, I won't sell them as a set. I'll sell them individually, but I got some more milk glass. So milk glass piece. Gosh, I feel like I'm going way too fast now, but that may not be that. Oh, Tullivary. I didn't know, I knew that these were beautiful. I got two of them. They're exactly the same. Tullivary, or is, it, is that what it is? It, it's Mexican pottery. So really beautiful. And again, bird. So two of those. Um, okay. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy with these. Um, this is just, I got a couple of these. I don't know if I'll do them this year, but I'll have them for next year. I saw somebody take these old spools of thread and um, make them into pumpkins. They were super cute, so that may be something that I'll do next year. Next up, some wood frames. These are the dual frames. Um, I may put some either holiday or winter images in there. Ow, that hurt. Um, and I got this one too. And ooh, make them over, make them fun, do something cute. Um, okay, some more birds. These are brown birds. I know no one wants to believe me that brown or that brown is a trending color, but it is. And, um, you know, so if they don't sell as is. I will paint them and make them over. Whoops. Um, okay, milk glass. I forget who makes these, possibly anchor hawking, but that doesn't sound right. Um, no, it's not anchor hawking. That was the other piece. But these, this is pear, um, milk glass though, and can't think of the maker right this second. But I got two of them, two milk glass, little. 
I, some people call them nut or candy dishes. Uh, some places they were described. I forget how. Oh, I just got one of these. You never know. I've got some up in my booth, um, just a stopper. And sometimes people are just looking for them because theirs broke or they lost it. So I grabbed it and I have them. They've been in my booth. I'm not sure if any of those have sold. Oh yeah, a few of those have sold. So, okay, I thought these were so cute. Salt and pepper shaker, um, glass on the bottom. I don't think it's, you know, silver on the top. I haven't had a chance to look these up. Um, hard to tell. But so cute, really super vintagey looking and love them. They may go in my booth this week. I don't know, we'll see. This is the other two little bud vases. This, the three that I had up there all sold. Um, you know, that's why I like to do three at a time. And then I sell them, I price them individually, but if people want a set of three, it's all curated for them. Okay, I thought this was beautiful. I love green. I don't have a lot of green in my house or I don't decorate with a lot of green, but I figured at Christmas time, you know, or, or just even winter, look at how pretty this is just with, you know, this setting in it, you know? So I think that maybe I, you know, may put a little bit more, there's a little bit of green in my booth. I'm not sure that much is sold that was green though, but grabbed it, thought it was pretty. Oh, this is the other, now I can't think of that to see if I'm even saying it right. Connects to Mexican Talavera. I don't know. Found a glass. Um, very dirty. But it, it had it had a, a clear plate underneath it. Clear plates are pretty easy to come up with. And I think I have some in my um, in my stash of plates. So I'm not worried about this is it, guys. I have one more item and then that's it. All right, this is just a little bird cage, not for a real bird, just a decor bird cage. So thought it was super cute. Um, I think I went a little, probably a little too quick, but hey, where are we at here? I don't know, 12, 12 minutes, that's about normal. All right, that's it everybody. If you saw anything you're interested in, send me a private message. Um, if not, I hope you'll tune in Thursday for my live. I have a dentist appointment in the middle of the afternoon. I don't know that I want to do them at, you know, whenever I did it last week, which was six. Uh, that's late for me. I'm beat by that time of day. I could barely speak. So I, I don't know. It'll probably be earlier, po possibly not earlier than my dentist appointment, but um, earlier than six. So don't know what time. Again, if you have a time that you think will work for you, let me know. Otherwise, have a great couple of days until I see you back here on Thursday for my Thursday Treasures Live video. Please remember to like, comment, share, follow, subscribe, all the things. It really helps me grow and get my page out there. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep doing these videos anymore at all. I do sell a lot of stuff from them, so in, in that respect, I like doing them, but they, you know take a lot out of me. So that's it. Have a great one, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.